Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Minions. Minions, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. We are going to learn <laughs> so much more lore. Apparently, you guys like Minions lore a lot. You guys like that one a lot. This movie also has some Gru lore, also known as Galore. I remember being surprised on Twitter when I saw people say that they actually enjoyed this movie, given the quality of the last one. I haven't seen it yet, so this should be interesting. We're going into it blind. This should be fun. I don't know about you, but I feel like I would have noticed that. As per this universe's standard, nothing is inconspicuous. That's accurate to our timeline is that the laundromat has like a hideout under it. You just climb in one of the dryers. If you want to know how horrible things are, just look on Google Maps how many mattress stores and laundromats are in your area. Oh my god, not a map. Not a map anymore. This is the planet Namek from Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z from Fortnite? <laughs> Goku, the hit Fortnite character. Yeah, my favorite. Can't wait for Goku, Spider-Man, and John Wick to catch a dub on Tilted Towers. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I got me some squash, some cucumber, and zucchini for all my hard work. Genuine thing, I always wonder that this like ancient crap that moves like mechanized for some reason and like Indiana Jones and movies like that. I don't understand how it works. It's because that ancient civilization was actually far more technical. Techn te they did stuff better. The first time I saw National Treasure 2, my like number one thought throughout the entire movie is how is any of this working? The city of gold. <laughs> In this movie, magic is canon, by the way, so it's fine. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, yeah, I know there's yellow pills that are sentient, but magic now too only what is funny like literally only when it's funny whatever it's the despicable me universe i mean yeah they have like freeze rays and shrink guns and fart guns and lots of different kinds of guns through got hit by like an icbm in the first movie and survived so whatever oh my god it's the eye of agamotto a green medallion i don't know it's from spy kids 2 when they're in like that golden room okay so we got doctor strange spy kids 2 elden ring elden ring yes it's the it's the green medallion from elden ring it's also a rotary phone okay it is a <laughs> wow circles with circles on it such a unique shape we have discovered i want to show you how similar it is oh that is really similar almost the exact same that is weird He activated the crystals. Now the energy flow is off. Oh my God. Oh, are they going to betray the old man after he did all the work for them? The vicious six has a new head honcho. Well, yeah, that's another trope. If it's a <laughs> intro unrelated to anything and it's confusing, it's always the villain. Okay, he's kind of the villain. It's time for the next generation. Why are you a crab? Okay. That, that would kill him. Yeah, it would. But then again, we've seen people survive nukes. This is so pretty. I love this part of the movie. Okay, it's very James Bond. I get what they're going for. Yeah, this is very James Bond. <laughs> hey, I got an image through a pole here. <laughs> so I know we said this in the last video, but is nobody questioning this? <laughs> I'm gonna give them this. The goggles work because the 70s had the awful round sunglasses. But other than that, it is still really weird. <laughs> The fact that it had so much pressure that it almost opened the doors, though, that would actually kill people. <laughs> yeah, for real. They just enter the theater and you see a bunch of dead bodies. <laughs> this movie gets really dark really fast. Are we getting freeze ray? Nope. We're getting cheese ray. Oh my god, no! <laughs> it's so stupid. Why are they frozen still, though? Why are the, Why is no one like... Because the cheese immediately hardened. That would be really heavy, so... I think that's what my colon does to cheese. Stops it dead like that. Your interview is tomorrow at noon. This message will self-destruct in five. Please four, tell me it actually three, does two, that. Just blows up his mom's Corvette. This invitation is gonna explode, baby! <laughs> exactly like the Incredibles. Except the fire alarm didn't go off, which would have been even funnier. Hello, Otto. What is it? That is the thickest. Whoa! That is the most robust minion I have ever seen. They, like, don't really have a digestive system as we've seen, except for butts. They've all been the same size prior to this, basically. Yeah, he's just... Thick. Gotta have that trope. Oh. I think it's because they needed a new, easily recognizable minion because we already have Bob, Kevin, and Stuart. And then the rest of them all kind of look similar, so they had to do something to make him look different. I want a three-eyed minion. Based on the lore, since he's not in Despicable Me, he dies prior to the events of that movie. Here comes Groot! 
it's a ladder. You could have just gone up the ladder. Make an elevator. Not enough money. Sorry, I guess when he was pouring that entire concrete layer with actual bombs in it, he didn't have enough money for an elevator. No, absolutely not. Yeah, he had enough money for a mechanized ladder that moves like an elevator, but not an actual elevator. I just killed a bug on my water bottle straw. You should eat the bug. No, I'm not in the mood. We're gonna take out the anti-villain league. What is that? With the power of my crystals, I'm gonna take out the government. There's so much production value that the villains ha villains have. I love it. I bet they have billions of fans. <laughs> billions of dollars. It's like how Morbius is on Netflix now. They're gonna have a more billion users. When are we gonna be on Netflix? According to IMDb, we're a TV show with four seasons. Someone in the comments, tell me who did it because you even split it up by like era of our videos for the seasons perfectly and it's weird. When you guys responded to my help, wanted that. I was like, who are these tiny tater tots? And where did they get so much denim? <laughs> That's a good question. They must have got it from our last video with all of that denim in it. Yeah. The Jed. The Jub. The Jouch. The Jups. The Jer. Jilverware. And the Jates. <laughs> Check out that video. Jitchin. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just, uh... Is that Dr. Nefario? What do you think? I knew it was. I'm just making content, Josiah. But yeah, this is Dr. Nefario with the world's greenest object in his hand right now. It's one of those sticky hands you get at, like, the arcade. It's made of Nickelodeon slime, though. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Take this. Uh, if you ever get famous, remember who gave you your first gadget. Kind of wholesome. Yeah, it is. They did this pretty well. I think this movie, like we said at the end of the original Minions video, should have just been the first Minions movie. Them just showing up to Gru's doorstep for a help wanted ad. If the first movie doesn't exist, that's a really funny origin story for them. Like no explanation to that point. That's how they showed up. It's like the people who wrote lore for the back rooms and kind of ruined how creepy the back rooms were because now they're explained. I haven't read any of that, so they still creep me out. This is like the rejected members of Slipknot. <laughs> yeah. Also known as Lipsnot, anyway. Is that a Mad Magazine? That's kind of funny. Our proximity doesn't require this kind of volume. <laughs> Hi, can I be a mod? Do you do YouTube? Have you ever uploaded a YouTube video? Like, no. Come back when you've done something to impress me. Who's next? I am Wingman. Whoa! <laughs> what is that button for? Uh, that's his button. Why is it there of all places? Are we about to find out? <laughs> You're about as aerodynamic as a warhead. What are you doing? Okay, but those are like actually aerodynamic. They fall in a graceful fashion. They don't fly with, you know, wings. They just kind of... You really think that man's going to fall in a graceful fashion? This man's about as aerodynamic as a Jeep. A Wrangler. Wow, I said that really country. A Wrangler. Fun fact about Jeep Wrangler. Uh, they have roughly the same aerodynamics as a lobster. I hate her top right here because those fuzzy things are never going to be soft again after like two seconds of wearing it. Everything looks super cartoony and then they just have like the most 4K looking texture in the world being the fur on that coat. And her hair. Look at her hair. These movies look like they were made in Unreal Engine and I mean that in the worst way possible. I actually don't hate the look of it. No, it looks like Fortnite. I think this movie pulls off like the meshed art style a little bit better than the first few that they've done. I just think it's really funny when you see like what could be like photo real fur. Her skin is like basically all one like solid smooth gradient, but her hair is like super detailed. There's no pores in her skin whatsoever. Where's the subsurface scattering in minions? <laughs> <laughs> Use the door! They did. The door is still standing there shut, actually. <laughs> I have a mild complaint. Despicable Me felt more like a spy movie with really stupid gadgets. This is starting to get into superhero movie territory, and I'm not sure that's my favorite thing. In my opinion, they shouldn't have done the Vicious Six. I think it should have just been her and Wild Knuckles. You could have maybe even made them, like, date or something. It would have made a lot more sen sense for the story. It kind of reminds me of the second Incredibles movie, which I like, but also gets kind kind of bloated towards the end of it. I think it's just because they needed to make extra toys, probably. Yes, that is 905% why they did that. Oh, wow, it's a Zack Snyder movie now. Get the lens flares and the red filter and the everything. We need a gray horned villain that says, I will destroy you and it'll be great. Doomsday and apocalypse. <laughs> like, wow. The same names. 
just got hit by an entire <laughs> vehicle. Die. Literally die. That's so good. Ah, please work. Come on, come on, come on. I appreciate the mild Mad Max aesthetic of Gru's bike. It's kind of cool. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> yeah, the lean minion. Why does that one have chest hair? All minions have chest hair. You just can't see for the overalls. <laughs> no. This one hit puberty. Or is it fake? You don't want to know, man. <laughs> it might be fake. What is that vehicle? <laughs> it's a van. Yeah, V-A-G-N, van. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, who just got actually kidnapped? Okay. I mean, you know whose van that was though, right? I mean, yeah. Like, it's it's not as creepy. It would have been creepier if like the movie started on that and you had no idea who it was. No, it would be creepier if the movie ended with that. <laughs> That's the cold open I want from Rise of Gru is <laughs> Gru getting kidnapped. How architecture. Why do the villains always have the most conspicuous hideouts? Heck if I know anymore. Jeff Bezos has like a giant yacht. Pretty hard to miss that one. That is fair. Yeah, Lex Luthor does have a big hideout. You're right, Josiah. <laughs> this is the most dangerous way you could have possibly done that. You know what else you could have done? He does a cartwheel onto the railing. And breaks it. He does like 50 flips, breaks the railing. Then they shoot him out and he catches him barely. Somebody bring me a phone. <laughs> that was so fast. Phone. You got two days or you are never going to see your little boss again. <laughs> Who is that? That's Wild Knuckles. No, I know who the character is. <laughs> I mean, who's talking? You have a Google. That's what I'm doing. Oh, it's John Claude Van Damme. That makes sense. You can't say that on the channel. Sorry, J John Claude Van Damme. Thank you. That's much better. Ah, uh, I told you. I don't know where he went, you stupid Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> How fast was that fan going? It cut his hair off. Whoa! Boy's got a bowl. No, that's a plate. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, except it's never that clear. Oh, sorry. One sec. Um, um, ladies and gentlemen, the weather of about uh, degrees. <laughs> we'll be cruising at an altitude of about four. No, 737s are not just... Actually, that's an Airbus A320. Do not tell me what... No, I don't care what kind of Airbus that is. I don't know what that is. It looks like an Airbus. <laughs> The seal you would get since they are always wearing goggles. You are not seeing anything. That is absolutely perfect. That is how I want to sleep in goggles. Okay, I know this plane isn't realistic now because there's also controls <laughs> behind the pilots. Like, that's not a thing. Oh, uh, actually. <laughs> not to that extent, it's not. It doesn't look like this. <laughs> oh my God, Josiah, you better be careful. There's going to be some guy in our comments who writes a paragraph about his experience with planes. <laughs> I've always wanted an airplane toilet to just pull me into the void. Really? Yes. I love the idea of being sucked into the airplane poop void. They're dumping their poop out in the sky. No one knows what happens to it. The chemtrails are actually the vaporized poop. Add that to the list of my video conspiracy theories that people might think I believe at this point. The vapor trails on planes are just vaporized poop. That and the earth is flat and a bunch of other things, yeah. It's not a conspiracy, it's a fact. If anything happened to this channel, I'm the least hireable man in the world after saying all of this stuff. <laughs> Time to break some bones. There's flies everywhere. <laughs> Seeing them get hurt is just so funny because you just know they're invincible. Yeah, but they still experience the pain as the best part. So they're just forced to live in this limbo. What? is happening right here. He's trying to break him in half. <laughs> what is happening right here? Uh, he's just carrying him. Shopping bag. Uh, no, no. We'll stop looking at that one. No. <laughs> yeah, let's move on from whatever that is. My teaching days are over. 
This is my life now. Need those kung fu. Whoa, we got the anime eyes. That was a whole new... Whoa! Whoa! It's so 8K. Oh my god, it's the eyes you use for us in thumbnails sometimes. It's amazing. Whoa. What is that? That's gonna be my profile picture. That's important to me. Stop! That's the worst! Hey, this is how you break into a bank vault. You drop it on a minion. You just throw Bob at it. She's trying to kill them at this point. Like, oh yeah, she is. She's testing how invincible they are. Where did she get that vault and how did she get it up there? Um, Looney Tunes. There, there needs to be an anvil to complete that. Yeah, it has to make like the quang sound, like the exact cartoon sound. I want an actual anvil for my set. You are ready. <laughs> dead. No, you know they're not dead. You dropped a vault on Bob and he was smiling. Literally. This movie somehow still keeps the stakes high even though you know they're invincible. It's because Gru is kind of the stakes, so I don't know. It's not a stake, he's a human. Impressive that they managed to make a movie out of gibberish speaking yellow orbs. Yeah, they've made about five basically. You are old. But you're not alone. We're going to find that stone and show everybody that you still got it. I swear to God, if this is Gru's dad. Ha! I got it! We know how the, the minions evolved, but we don't know who Gru's parents are. Very cool. Well, we know Gru's mom. When Gru's dad died, his name is Robert. Yeah, look, this is the part of the movie where all of, like, the plot lines converge. In my opinion, they could have made it a lot better. I mean, you'll see what I'm talking about, but just, like... They created the scenario of Gru not being anywhere near the minions, but then it's like, what are you going to have them both do? And then they both did kind of nothing. <laughs> anti villainly you are under arrest. What happens to this agency by the time Despicable Me happens? Uh, they're in Despicable Me too. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that in forever, so I I, I was just wondering because like I, that agency is the one that what's her name works at from the second movie. But I would have thought when they you know ripped an orbital body out of the sky and took a pyramid and a lot of things that they would have showed up. Everything they've done is a giant retcon. You're right. I just like painting it out in in longer wordage than yeah, you got to hit that word count. This is what we get for watching the most clickable movies first. Did you forget what time it is? No, it's about 8.20 p.m. on a Friday. Oh, God. It's Ghostbusters. They're gonna become furries. Happy New Year! Told you. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, you know dragons can still be affected by guns, right? How often have you met a dragon, Bren? Uh, I don't know. See, this is what I'm saying is like, all of a sudden there's magic where we had no example of the magic happening earlier. Except for when Wild Knuckles got the medallion and all the spirits went into the medallion. That wasn't showing the abilities of the medallion in any way. I can see how we got here, but man, this is a little different than everything else that's come before, because everything else has been like a science-based thing. For a cartoon, at least. Yeah, like a very cartoonish science. Like, uh, it gave me kind of Johnny Test vibes, but this is like Ghostbusters or something now. I cool. It started out in like, you know, phase one of the MCU and now it's magic and nothing else. No. <laughs> that's exactly, that's the parallel I'm drawing with these. We just haven't hit the multiverse yet, but we will in Minions part four. I don't know. Dig down deep. Find your inner beast. <laughs> Why is this happening? Yeah, I agree that the action's a lot better because this is kind of funny blending like the cartoon and anime styles. It's really well done. It just needed a little bit more of a smoother transition between the normal part of the movie and the parts where they're all fighting as alternate monsters. Their writing is a little weak on these movies, but everything else, like the animators do an incredible job with what they do. Especially like the non-despicable movie ones like Sing and all that. Those look kind of actually really bad. Then you see this where they decided to just put all their effort into it for some reason. <laughs> yeah, this gives me hope that maybe Maybe Mario won't be the ugliest movie of all time, but you know, we'll see. They were so annoying that they created like a sound wave to kill them. <laughs> I think that's what we do every time we like harmonize together. We fight off the stupid comments with that sound. <laughs> oh, rats. Brendan.
It was funny. We set up the movie Ratatouille. It's all in the multiverse. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Are we having a funeral? Did wait, did a minion die? Is that's what is that what happened here? This is Wild Knuckles funeral. Oh wow, this is a Spider-Man movie now because it ends with a funeral. <laughs> now this should have been the plot of GTA 5 where he doesn't know for a really <laughs> long time that he's not dead. I just saw a ghost. <laughs> It's all a conspiracy, man. Yeah, he actually just dies immediately after this movie, and that's why we never hear about him again. Big boss! Big boss! I like that! <laughs> ah, there it is. So that was Nefario's plane. And it became the 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 Gru Jet, the Gret. The grain. Well, we did it. We we did what you guys asked. We're done. Yeah, we're never uploading any more videos. Nope. This was the last one. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe so you don't see our next video. Yeah. yeah don't do that. I feel like we said most of our feelings like during the movie. I didn't say all of my feelings, Josiah. I don't want to hear of all of your feelings, <laughs> You and everyone else. Definitely watch our Minions video. Not this one. The other one. The other one was good, but this one's also going to be good. Have a day.